In this session, I will cover one of the most important ratios return on equity. This is Warren Buffett's favorite ratio for stock investing. Let's find out why. Return on equity measures the efficiency of company to generate profit for its shareholders. Before you understand how it is calculated, let's take a step back and revisit balance sheet. Company has assets. Assets are the things that company owns. On the other side, company has liabilities. Liabilities are the things that company owe. The third important component is shareholders' equity. Assets minus liabilities gives you shareholders' equity. Balance sheet is made up of these three main components. Let's take an example to understand return on equity. A company has assets worth 1,000 crore. However, these assets are financed through bank loan worth 600 crore. This is liability for a company. Let's calculate net value of the company which is assets minus liabilities. The net value of the company is 400 crores. This is actually the shareholder's equity. Let's assume this company is generating 60 crore of net profit each year. Now, it's time to calculate the return on equity. ROE is calculated as net profit divided by shareholder's equity and expressed as percentage. In this case ROE will be 15%. This shows company is generating 15% return on money it invested. You can say that high ROE means more efficient is the company. However, please note there are two ways mathematically ROE can be improved. First, increasing net profit. This is a good sign for the business. Second, Mathematically you can boost ROE by reducing equity. When business has high debt, equity will reduce. However, this will increase ROE. Please remember high ROE is not always good when company is highly leveraged. Let's understand ROE with another example. This table shows ROE for company A and company B across years. You can notice company A has stable and high ROE across years. However, company B has low ROE and it's fluctuating. This shows company A is more efficient in producing good returns for shareholders. It can produce more profit with much less resources. On the other hand, company B is producing less returns for shareholders. The acceptable range of ROE can differ much across the industry. For example, utility company will have low ROE. 8 to 10% return on equity can be considered as sign of efficient company. However, software companies typically have high ROE and you should consider 15% or more before investing. As a stock investor if you have question. How to analyze return on equity? Here are few simple steps. You should always compare return on equity with companies that operates in the same industry or similar business model. Moreover, you should compare across years to ensure stability and rather increasing ROE. Company should have high return on equity with no or little debt. You should typically look out for companies with 15% or more before you consider investing. Please remember company that has 15% return on equity cannot increase its earnings faster than 15% annually without borrowing funds or selling more shares. Thank you.